if anyone ever tells you you can't do something, don't just accept that. Prove them wrong. That's what I try to do with this NFT system anyway. Um, I looked at a lot of people's system designs and seen that they cautioned away from growing large things in their NFT system that had a decent sized root mass. And I wanted to try growing them. So I'll explain the difficulties I've had with growing larger root system plants in my NFT system and the solutions that I would implement next time I set up a system like this and grew plants that required a decent amount of space to grow their roots. Welcome to Who Chose. So these vines here are pumpkin. Um, they're just starting to show their first flowers and they've been in the NFT system pretty much from the start or the inception of the system. Now, the vines themselves would have blocked out pretty much all of the sun for the rest of the NFT system had I not grown them down uh, over some trellising that I put up between the NFT poles. Um, I also had to do a fair bit of pruning to the top once the vines were long enough to keep the leaves from overtaking the system and encouraging them to grow down. The main issue that I've had with growing the pumpkin in the NFT system is the root size. Um, the pucks are holding them in place because the plants themselves are supporting their own weight on the trellis system. Um, so there's no problem with them staying in the system itself. However, they are taking up a sizable space in the system, filling the root zone with roots and locking in the plants that are in the system next to them. Now, this isn't a problem with the plants that I expect to live as long as the pumpkin, but with shorter lived plants like these pak choy or lettuce, even basil to a certain extent, where you are harvesting the whole plant, the roots become intertwined with that of the pumpkin. And when you harvest the plant, for fear of harming the pumpkin's roots, you have to make a decision whether to harvest the plant and take the roots completely out with the pumpkin's roots or harvest the plant and leave roots in the NFT system to eventually rot and possibly allow disease to enter the system. My solution for this problem is in the future, I will be actually running NFT system channels specifically for these plants that are on the same cycle. So for instance, I will have one channel dedicated to pumpkin. I'll have rather than 20 holes, I'll have three holes along the NFT system channel. And this allows for all three plants to have adequate root zone space, as well as decreasing the likelihood I'll have to harvest any one plant before the other and allowing me to harvest them all at the same time and, if need be, remove all plants from the system at the same time. So as I walk along here, I can show you the problem I'm facing. In these slots, I have a combination of cos, basil, cos, basil, pumpkin. Now, this channel wouldn't be a problem if I hadn't inserted pumpkin vine and pumpkin vine 
that require a really long root base, essentially. And this pumpkin at the top of the NFT rail is actually locking in all of the plants coming down to this point in the NFT rail. And this pumpkin is actually locking all the plants in from this point all the way down to this point. And throughout the NFT system, I've actually made a few mistakes like that um, before knowing how to deal with it. Um, in every single channel, I've planted a pumpkin vine or a loofah vine, uh, which then grows down over the trellising, um, thinking that it was a good use of NFT rail space when really I've actually probably doomed a couple of plants by having to, in the future, remove all of the plants out of a rail and replace them once these vines die off. So what's my solution? My solution would be to assess the plant type and the size of the root mass of a plant going into creation of your NFT system and looking at the life cycle of plants and pairing them based on root size and life cycle into an NFT system that places the plants on the rail an adequate distance from each other based on root size and pairs the plants based on longevity of life cycle. In the future, I actually plan on growing passion fruit in an NFT system and this experiment with different vines and plants within an NFT system has actually proved fairly valuable in that experiment, that future experiment. Uh, I will be using probably a single NFT rail per two passion fruit plants. Um, I've even been tossing up the idea of using a single NFT rail per plant due to the root size of the plant and the nutritional needs of the plant. If anyone has any experience um, with growing passion fruit in an NFT system, um, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll leave in the description below my suggested spacing for various types of plants. If you have any requests for root sizes in NFT systems for a specific type of plant, leave it in the comments below. Generally for leafy greens, um, I would stick to 30 centimeters apart in your channel holes. Um, depending on the size of the vine, uh, any fruiting vines, I would leave at least two and a half meters apart per hole um, and understand that you will still have roots intermingling. So those plants that you are having in those systems that have a large root mass, try and find plants that have a similar life cycle and fruiting time so that when it comes time to remove a plant from the system, you can remove all plants from the system. That being said, I'm still extremely happy with the progress of this NFT system. And um, 
I'll keep moving forward with it the way it has been planned, um, purely because it's not negatively affected the results so far. However, in the future, when I do expand the system or create another system, perhaps with a trellis over the top of it, I will have better understanding of how to plan out the, the plant types, the plant life cycles, and the plant spacing so that the rotation of plants does not sacrifice healthy plants unnecessarily. So this has just been a small discussion on plant types in my hydroponic system. Um, I've really just told you what's on my mind uh, and tried to share some mistakes I made along the way uh, that you may not have to make now. So, thanks for joining us here on Who Chose. Happy hydroponicking.